What's up, guys? Uh, Poly Popo here, and today what I want to go over is how to use your MPC X software or MPC software um, and integrate Fruity Loops. A lot of people are having a problem with it, and I just want to show you an easy way to do it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do first off is um, go to your programs. If you haven't, if, if you don't even have Fruity Loops in your computer yet, Go up to your file, hit your uh, edit preferences, uh, plugins, and search uh, C and C, your your whole C drive, okay? And then um, it'll pop up if you have Fruity Loops installed in your computer. So then you go to programs, and, uh, and then you click on your Fruity, and whenever you go to the window. You might click it and nothing pops up, right? Well, down on your MPCX, uh, it's actually Q-Link 1. Uh, if you turn it all the way clockwise, it'll pop up the Fruity software. You can adjust all these uh, parameters with the MPC, and it's all touch screen and everything like that. But um, now we got Fruity Loops on there. I did that with a Q-Link. And what's cool is you can set your templates. And this comes with 23 tracks. You only get 16 MIDI tracks. And that's what I want to say. These are MIDI tracks. Um, and how you do that on the MPCX is very simple. You just, instead of going to track one, track two, let me show you this here real quick. Hey, sorry about that. Instead of going to track one, track two, up here, because you're, you're not going to get anything. It's, it's going to be the same. So what, what you want to do is hit up these MIDI tracks on your one program. So if I'm going to go MIDI track one, I'm going to go one through, I have an effect on my voice, that's why I keep juggling this here, because I go like, yeah, oh, well, so I'm going to turn this on, it's going to be a little echoey, but I won't talk and you can hear it, listen, I'm going to go through one through whatever, and then I'll show you on the screen. show you what it's doing on the screen over here as I go through the MIDI channels and you won't be able to see them move on the screen like basics always gonna be basic and number one but you'll be able to see the sounds look that's basic channel 2 Three, four, five, six, and so on. So that's how you would use your fruity lips with that. There it is. And you can see you can see the way they're moving and everything, right? Let me zoom in for you. So we're actually playing in the MPC. One track of our tracks are going to be this. So you go to MIDI channel 2. Pretty dope. So yeah, there you go. You can go ahead and do that. Um, and when you record, it's going to record in time here. But if you want to see it record in Fruity Loops, you just you would actually have to hit the record arm button, set the beat for 120. It'll automatically time out for you and correct itself. But 
set it for 120 whenever you're playing your pattern on there it'll record everything on here um, so yeah it's pretty dope I just wanted to share that with you guys again um, if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and you know I go over all kinds of little tips and tricks like this so I thought it would be useful and uh, give a thumbs up to show you know the MPC you know spread the word about that I'll talk to you guys later thanks again